Devin making this video for you so here are the two pictures which you sent me so the first thing I'm gonna so this is on my iPad and it's pretty much the same thing on your iPhone as well so here I'm what I'm first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this to the files section of my device I'll show you later why I'm doing that so save to the files section ah, it looks like I already did it okay so now I'm just going to start from scratch here, so I'm going to open up the Teleplay app. So PicPulse is a part of Teleplay. It's almost kind of like a speakeasy in the sense that, you know, the reviews for this app aren't amazing because, um, number one, it's the reviews are pretty old. Number two, uh, this is a, a green screen app originally, and uh, many people who used it did not follow the lighting instructions. It's incredible. When you give people instructions and they just don't follow it, then they complain. But anyways, that's why I did pick post because there's no green screen needed. Makes my life easier too. Okay, just so now you're going to see pick post right here. Click on pick post. Make sure to give permissions. Now for this one, you can just do not for now. So when you're at this screen right here, the first thing you want to do is go to the gear icon. Make sure that the pick pulse button is on, which it already is because you clicked on that blue pick pulse button in the very beginning. Then go to email, the email field. And type in the email address you used to make the purchase. By the way, if I have to really type down hard on this iPad, it's because the touch sensitivity isn't that great. But it works okay for this demo. Okay, so now because we enter the email, all the paid content here will be unlocked. And so basically within the gear icon, you could ignore pretty much every single button except for the pick pulse button, which you always want to be on, the email button where we enter the email address, and eventually you may want to use the timeline feature where you can time foreground effects. Um, so that way, you, it's basically like a video editor for the foreground animations in this app. But for now, I'm just going to leave it off. See, it's off right here. Okay. And now, so let's, uh, let's get to, let's make a cool scene. So let's go to your foreground. And now we're going to remove the background from one of the, okay. So here is one of the images you sent. So I'm going to remove the background. And I notice you used photo room to remove a background, but with this AI scissor tool, you can also remove the background from any photo. The key is just to make sure that it's obvious, like that, like maybe have him standing next to a blank wall so that it's easy for the AI to remove the background. Obviously it's easy here. You already made it easy for me because everything around him is white. <clears throat> okay, so just to reiterate what I did there is I went to your foreground clicked on the AI scissor tool, and then, you know, that's, there I got him. So this button is if you want to upload your own PNGs, JPEG, GIF files, like let's pretend we already had a PNG file, This that way we just use this button. And this button, you can use, this is, creates AI GIF animations. So if you were to say like, um, I don't know, dog running fast, or like, I don't know, something random, it would generate an a it would use ai to generate a gif animation for you so anyways uh, let's use the background which you sent me so we're going to go to your background and then right here okay and that's pretty much all there is to it let's say you want to change the background so some people are like you know wh where's a delete button but you don't need a delete button because um you can just you know tap sorry tap and then the background instantly changes. Tap, change. You can also use the backgrounds inside here. <clears throat> so for something, for something like a class, I just maybe use the background which you already sent me. But let's check out what other backgrounds there are. So something industrial. What if we go to, I think there may be something in fantasy. Space station. So you just click on it. Click on it, and then it's automatically downloaded.
What if it's something like this one? So I'm going to assume, and you know, each background category here has videos under the video preview column and photos under the photo preview column. So for example, like that, obviously that's not a good idea for this particular scene. Let's go back to fantasy. I mean, let's go back to the background which you sent me. Okay, so now what can we do with this scene? Honestly, I think it already looks pretty decent because, you know, it's... Uh, yeah, I think for this particular scene, you want something professional, but let me think of something which can add to this scene in a way that gets attention, but in a way that still makes it look professional. So, so you said the classes are mechanical room equipment, boiler room. So I'm going to just go off the cuff and what I think can work um, and then go from there. What if we do wormhole? Sometimes the most random effects can produce the best results if you just play around with it. Okay, that's kind of interesting. To remove a foreground effect, just hold on the screw hold on the effect for two seconds and then click on the trash can icon that appears right there. And you can have as many you can have more than one effect at the same time. Let me try something. Oh, what if we do this one? Like, take off. The class is taking off. So let's maybe... So you get the idea. Let's say, for example, you like this effect right here. Okay? So let me show you what happens when we do more than one effect. So what if we do space decoration okay now what if we want this space decoration behind the professor and the and the shuttle launch so we click on this uh, this the slayer palette right here and then we just simply click on click and then move it all the way down and let's say we want to adjust the size of this and nothing else. We can just move it around and it doesn't affect any other layer. Okay, and there we go. Obviously, I think too much is going on here. Let's say we want to remove the spaceship. So just click, exit out. Yeah, X, okay. Maybe this can kind of work. Let me see what else we can do. Technology. Be like a reveal category. What if what if what if we do something like like this one. Okay, you get the idea. And so let's say you like this particular scene, or let, let me just play around with another scene. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, to remove a for to delete a foreground effect from memory, just click on the trash can icon. Maybe light streaks, like a simple background. I mean, a simple foreground. What if we do this one? Eh, sorry, not not the scene I was looking for.
Um, sparkle and particle effects, you may find something in here. So what if we do red center? What if we place it behind? Let's maybe delete this one. Like if if you tell me specifically um what type of overall feel you're going for, like like are you making this for an announcement? Are you posting this on your Facebook page? That would better allow me to figure out what type of foreground effects can work well here. But right now I'm kinda of going off the cuff as to what I'm I'm th I think this is what you may like, but if you let me know uh Oh, this is actually kinda of cool. Because it kind of highlights the professor. So if you, yeah, let me maybe move this a little down. Okay, I kind of like that scene. Let's say we like this scene. So what if we go, and let's say I want to add some music. What if we do simple, this is, this looks like a very classy guy. So what if we do like under, under jazz music? So the play button that lets you preview the, the, the music. Now you just have to download it. This is a little bit tricky, you have to fix it. So double tap so that that bar is full. And then make sure that only the effect sound is on. Hold the red record button for two seconds. And notice the timer, that's how long the video will be. And let's maybe make, I don't know, a 10 second video. So I just wait for it to process. Okay. Let's see what we got. Welcome, David. Um, okay, so yeah, please let me know if this video helps, Devin. And I'm, as always, I'm here if there are any questions. In particular, if you let me know like where you intend to post these videos, that would better help me figure out what effects in the app can work best for you. And that's it. Uh, thank you for getting it to this point.